Just lift your hands and worship the King of glory. Tell him, Lord, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy of all the glory and honor. From the east to the west. From the north to the south. You are so great, Lord. You are so great, Lord. Mm.
scientific high five to your neighbor and tell them you're welcome. high five very scientific. Give your neighbor a scientific high five. Mirana, high five get scientific. And tell them I'm happy to see you today. You look so beautiful. You can choose to stay here. You can choose to go. God bless you so much. But we're coming back soon. My father. I am blessed to be in this place. All the ministers, our elders in the Lord, we are happy to see you. Pastor Serumaga. Pastor Serumaga. Apostle Reverend, we are happy to see you. My friend who gave me an opportunity, I'm happy to see you. And still, mommy on the right. When I see her, I get encouraged. God bless you so much. I love you, UCC family. I am happy to be in this place today. I know many things have happened in the past. <laughs> 2020, 2021. <laughs> but if you can see me and I can see you, let's give the glory to God. Coronavirus is there. Coronavirus Jali. I have one of my dearest daughter in the Lord who is really down. Yeah, she stays in Mutungo and she's really down for coronavirus. So in any way you can protect yourself, it is good. However, I want to give you some good news. There is a special grace upon Uganda. And thank you so much, those who are praying for this country. The Lord answers prayers. Amen. A family of Tuliba Sinza, we told you, that was to live in any family. I have a married man to a woman and one wife, and my family, we are worshippers. I came with my family, I'll be showing some of them and see you. I enjoy my family with my wife, and we serve the Lord in the power of the Spirit. My house has worship and an altar, and if we are going to a place and those things are there, we go as a full family. He is Emma Seluyang, a born again, and the most important thing is going to heaven by the grace of God. Amen. 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 Now, I want to share a few things, and then we go into a practical, practical worship. There's one thing I know about the, 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 the principles of life or about what makes life. The deeper knowledge you know about anything is the deeper, is the greatest, is the greater way you can achieve from it. Whenever you do something at a deeper level of knowledge, you benefit from it highly. We are very grateful for the privilege God has given us to gather in this place to worship him. The Lord seeks our worship. It's even indicated in the Bible. He seeks worshippers. So you are blessed to be here today in the name of Jesus. My I sent my love to you and the appreciation to be here today. Allow me to boast on you a little. It isn't bad to boast. Even Paul used to boast sometimes. 
Simani bibili wanonze simani ne yeje njaga lubaga amanti mushumba wange ne mama banjaga la nyo I don't know what is here but what I know my pastor and mother they love me so much Lava bechirumiye nga shinda cha kubakolera kale banjaga la Now there are those who are feeling bad but I have nothing to do for you they surely love me Amina Amen I want to share something briefly and then we we go to worship before let me give you a testimony to give you more reasons why you should worship the Lord two weeks ago my, my throats were attacked and especially this whole week from Monday to uh, to, to, to about yesterday my voice was bad my throats were bad and it was so dry and they, were, they had begun to grow thinner so that even breathing was a problem I could wake up in the night I couldn't breathe I couldn't sleep comfortably and uh, the throats were drying then I tried everything they told me to do the elementaries I went to the doctor and things failed then he said you have to go and see a specialist yeah, so on Wednesday on Wednesday to our specialist I went to then on Wednesday, they went to see an ear and nose throat specialist. I felt my throat was going away. But I blessed the Lord, they were examined and they were okay. So I began on the treatment and everything is going on so well. So we stand here to thank the Lord. Amen, brethren. Amen. Do we have a Luganda reader who is going to help us? Amen. I always hear a good Luganda reader here. Luca Musamvu Onyiriwa. Luca Musamvu to Jakuva Kurua Onyiri Orokumino Musamvu. Luke chapter 7 and we shall begin from verse 17. Luka esula msangu nyiru wakumi na msangu. Thank you Lord. Nechi gambo che echo, nechi buna mubu yuda ya bona, ne mosu yona eliranyi yo. Awa baigiriza wa Yokana, neva mubulire bigambe ebyo byonna. Yokana na ita baigiriza we babiri na abatu meri mukama wafe ngagamba nti Luka musamvu. Osebe meka. Ayo asatu musamvu. Obo tandikira sole. Verse 37 begin. Badanga Bible batan so zichu sa twazanja uru. Luke sula musamvu linyirwa asatu musamvu. Ye mukwano. Kale labo mukazi ali mu kibugomo e ali ne bibi. Boyamanya nga atude kumere munyumba yomu falisayo na lete chupa ya mafuta gomu gavu. Na imirira emira na miro kubigerebye mm. nga kaba. Mm. Na atanulo kumuto nyeza maziga kubigerebye mm. na abisangula na nevili ezo kumuto egwe. Na anywe gerebye gerebye na abisiga mafuta go. Mm. Awu mfalisayo ya muita boyalaba na yogera munda muyenti omuto ono Singa abadde nabbi yanditege do mukazi amukwata ko bwali era bwafana na ngali ne bibi Yesu nadamu namugamba anti Simoni ndiko chenjaga lokubulira na gamba anti omuyigiriza yogera ana mulumu waliwo omuntu eyawolanga naye alina baba babanja babiri omunga abanji wa edinali bitano no mulala tano abwe bali nga tebali na kya kumusasula na basonywa bombi Kale kwabo alisingo kumwagala aluwa ana musatu so, Simoni nadamu na gamba anti mm. ndowozo yo bwe yasingo okusonyi wenyinji mm. na mugamba anti osaze bulunji kale soko komawe bale nyo mukama nkwebaza olwe kifo kino 
Lord, I bless you for this place. And for the pool that I'm standing on, which has been a blessing to the nation for so many years. I thank you for the grace you've given us congregate in this place as we lift up a sacrifice of worship to you. Lord, if you're not there, then whom are we worshiping? It's only your throne that can melt us into worship. We therefore ask you to increase your presence in this room, Lord. And whoever enters here will feel an atmosphere of the Holy Spirit. May the cloud and the glory of your reign begin to influence the space, Lord. We are not here as religious. We are here as sons and daughters of the kingdom of God. Come and take us deeper into a place of worship. Take us to that place where we are nothing and you are the only God. Where everything around us is nothing. The place of death. The place of surrender. I thank you for your here today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The main thing that brings you to a place of worship, to worship the Lord, is called knowing your God. I want to talk about knowing the Lord. Worship can be a mere song. They can be words or a function. If you don't understand the God whom you're worshiping, worshippers have one secret of revelation. They have a special way they see God that other people don't see. Him. Everywhere in the scripture where you read about a worshiper, you will see there is either an understand the Lord more than others. One of the most popular things when we got saved is to seek to know the God whom we believe. Praise the Lord, brethren. Knowing God is the beginning and the introduction of worshipping the God of Israel. There are so many words that can talk about God. There are so many gods in the world. But there is a God, the creator of heavens and earth, we came here to worship today. I pray today the spirit of revelation will come among us, the worshippers. That his glory will get to be revealed unto us today in Jesus' name. Knowing the Lord originates from seeking Him. One of the things that causes us to know the Lord, we get to know Him in several ways. First of all, through reading His Word, the Lord opens up Himself unto us. The more we read the word and we yearn for read, the Lord opens himself unto us through his word. And still so there are also other ways through which the Lord reveals himself the to Lord us. The Lord can reveal himself in your understanding. Within your understanding, you, you begin to receive another way of knowing God beyond other people. You it can come to one day and the Lord visits your understanding. When you haven't seen any vision, you haven't got a dream. But when your knowledge is opened up, to understanding the Lord in a special way. And you feel every word you say about the Lord is heavy in unusual way. And we feel just say, oh, he is the Lord. When the word Lord, your 
thinking sees it at another level. Worshippers, may the Lord today take you to another level of understanding in him. Now where you understand the Lord is how big you are in the spirits. The way you know the Lord is so important in working together with him. We have so many things that have put us down. We have many things we haven't done yet. We have so many that don't make sense before us. Because our level of knowing the Lord is still very low. Because Revelation. Isaiah chapter 6. Talks about something I want us to read there. Sometimes songs can When I was worshipping I could only be singing When my worship depends on the machines and the leader in the worship And when power could go off all the words would come to an end my worship would end But the more I've got to understand him Even when machines are off inside me there is a song that continues and it is worshipping the Lord Because I got to know worshipping the Lord is not only a song it go, it's more than a song. It's more than music. It's more than who is leading. Something happened here to, to, to a man called Isaiah. In the year King Isaiah died. You want to read for us, you read Something got off Isaiah in that year. Nalaba Mukama anga atude kuntebe. Yaliyama zebanga anga weleza Mukama na yenga Mukama amuulida na yenga walu gatamu evi kulida anga. Koro amaso kene galaba ichitwe chenja ulu. He had taken time worshipping the Lord but he hadn't been revealed unto him but that day his eyes saw something different. Mm. Uh -huh, go on. Yes. Mm. 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 Here that level of worship revealed to Isaiah. When God opens up himself unto him, you realize if all along you haven't been worshipping. That day Isaiah fell down after he had seen the glory, angels singing. And so that his garment and glory had been through the whole temple. His level of worship freezed. And he was seeing another level of worship. Oh, you The one whom Isaiah saw is the one whom you came to worship today. Oh, you Isaiah that one is the one you've been seeking for some time the one whom angels were telling holy and holy when you know the Lord you begin to realize that you have to repent based on the way you've been worshipping him all along he's so big and he's so precious on which side should we talk about him in his character, his attributes, or which area? A day Isaiah saw the Lord. He just repented. He said, My God, I have seen a level of worship I've never seen before. He said, then he asked, Have I even been worshiping all along? Revelation brings worshiping. 
Because you begin to see a God other people don't see. Oh, and God begins to use the people to see a God other people don't see. And when I talk about healing, it goes beyond just a word, healing. Revelation shows you something beyond the wall. Revelation brings a different understanding of what you are doing. The day Isaiah saw the Lord, he fell down and he said, Wow unto me. And then there's another woman we've read in the Bible. She was even a prostitute. She had a very bad record. They don't give us her name. They give can you imagine when they don't even want to talk about your name but your, your habit is what they know but when this lady saw Jesus she didn't see this one wearing a tunic being followed every day there is another understanding that came out that this man is so glorious and honorable, even more than my hair. There is another revelation, another understanding that came upon this woman that this man he can even forgive my sin. The what makes someone bow down like this it means they have been revealed something to them. About Time has come for you to know whom did you come to watch what I was telling you to lift up your hands. What makes someone to put off their clothes and they begin worshiping the Lord because they have another knowledge about the Lord? The people we came to worship today is the King of Kings, is the Lord of Lords, and He's worthy of all the glory. So she went to the feet of Jesus, not even seeing the feet, but seeing the grace. And others who were there were saying, This woman has run. The feet were all full of dust, but she was seeing something else she was seeing more than the feet. The one whom you came to worship, but which level do you see them? He's more than having a Samsung smartphone. A single coke some of you, you lose your heart because you haven't yet got the phone you want from the oh, Lord. Revelation shows that the one you worship, and if you don't have the phone, he is worthy of the glory and the worship. Revelation shows me those material things as dust before the Lord. Revelation, your clothes is nothing before the Lord. Let Jesus come to the Do we have some worshippers in the house? Do we have some worshippers in the house? The lady gets closer to the Lord like this. Then she realized that kneeling down wasn't enough. And she said, no. This man is not the one they have been talking about all along. So she got her hair. She got her hair. And then she realized that hair was not enough. Have you ever watched the Lord and you feel whatever you give him is not enough? I am asking the question, I have no enemy in your system. Have you worshipped the Lord and you feel it on the Lord? And the Lord opens up himself unto you and the Son. I tell him, Lord, reveal yourself unto me. Reveal to me your glory. I 
remember one day I was in the room. I was renting this room uh, 15,000. No, 25,000 shillings. No no no, 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 wait, wait, wait. 12,500 shillings. Landlord, the landlord even wanted his 500 shillings. I had a very small mattress and it was very old. And it was the only thing I had in my house. If anyone would visit me, I would tell them, I would come when someone knocks, I would open a very small space just to see who is coming because you're not, you're not supposed to see in my house. I used to go without food but not fasting. But I remember in that small room. I remember in that small room. By the grace of God, there's a man who introduced himself to me. And the time came. I told him, I don't want anything right now. Don't give me a good bed. Don't give me a good job. I just want your presence to feel this room. Because your presence is enough. Your presence. I used to be in that room and I could not feel it anymore. And the window and the door of that room were facing a rubbish pit. So people used to throw leftover foods there on the rubbish pit and I could be seeing. I had ever admired food thrown at the pit. Now that one, the Lord took it away. I eat what I want today. Don't forget that I said I eat what I want in the name of Jesus. Everything means nothing but His presence. I came to that time. Worship until you go to a place whereby everything means nothing. Everything means nothing. Only His presence. Lord, reveal yourself unto me today. Let me give you one last man in the scripture. Oh God. Oh my God. Real worship, let, let's, let's first get this. Real worship comes when you begin to know who your God is. Worship will always just be a song, a dance, an activity until you understand Him. Let let me give you an example. A physical example. Have you ever met a man or a woman? No, you never and you're in church for one month, two months, you see them, you say hello to them. You say hello to them, hi Jimmy, well done, and then you go on. And then you go on. And one day when you're in an office, it even has guards, it has great people and big people. And you find that brother and Jimmy at church. And he's the one that is being guarded. He's the CEO of that organization. When all guards tell you, you can't see him unless if you do like this until when you get unto him. What happens after such a one comes back to church? You met officially somewhere and he was such a big man. What happens when he, that such a person comes back to you church? You can even know that because you know such a person can even give you a job. That is the one you've been telling. Hi, Jimmy. You can say, oh, sir, please, can you come this way? 
Because you got to know their strength and power. The Lord reveals himself unto you and you get to know him. Your worship is going to change. Your how I wish he only does it for me and he takes me to another level of worshipping him that one will be enough for me today what can take away all the fear that is going on is for us to know who the world is full of fear as we speak of today the world is full of fear as we speak today but what can consume the fear is for us to understand whom we believe. And you know, even if I go, I will be with him in the eternal glory. God reveal his glory unto him. Do you know someone can refuse to worship the Lord because they didn't have supper, they slept on an empty stomach? When for you only know the Lord as the God of food, when there is no food, He's no longer a God. He's Lord when food is there. He's Lord when there's no food. He's Lord in the lockdown. He's Lord when there's no lockdown. He's Lord in the COVID 19 phase one. He's going to be the Lord in phase two. And their worshippers in this place that they may hear their voices. Another last man is here called Peter. Peter and the twelve were walking with Jesus for so many, for three years. But Matthew chapter 16 verse 17 says something here. Can you do me a favor and read that scripture please? Matthew. Matayo, sorry. 16. Matayo, kumina mkaga. Verse 6, 17. Okuvakuro mkaga pa kumina msambu. Matayo. Eh. Matayo, sula mkaga. Onyula kumina mkaga. Matayo, kumina mkaga. Matayo, kumina mkaga. Olinyo <laughs> Abantu, bamuita batia. Bamuita batia. Eva gambanti, abala la bamuita yokano. Tugeni mpula ya mama toko papa. Bino sibi fana nye. Ulida. Abantu, abaziyo kusinza wano yesu abuza mumpita mutia. The people who have come to worship here, Jesus is asking, how do you call me? What do you know about me? Chichiche mumma nyeko. Kubanga. Because what you know about him is going to determine how you're going to worship him. Uh -huh. And you're going to worship as if you're worshiping John the Baptist. Bishop, prepared. I'm going to call you after we are worshiping. Oh, you're so good, Lord. Yeah, but I'm going to remember the Hallelujah. The man has done miracles. Uh -huh. Look at the people who are coming you are of inner man. Us of inner man. 
as a family. How do you call Jesus? Me and my house, who is Jesus? One day I was praying in my house. I was making a prayer walk in my house. I went through the beds of my children, laying my hands on them, praying for the children, their clothes, their what. I went to my bedroom, I went to the bathroom. That's how stubborn I am. I go, I go to the kitchen, I pray. I told the Lord, you're so great. Thank you for this bunch of bananas. Thank you for this chicken. But as I was speaking all that, I felt a voice speaking unto me. And the Lord told me, Emma. And the Lord said, Emma. I don't have a lordship position in your house. I don't feel the Lord in your house. I said, God, my life is all worshiping you and I serve you, Mukama. Mukama, And the Lord told me, I don't feel as the Lord in your house. He began to give me reasons why he feels he is not the Lord in my house. Some of them is saying, sometimes you begin with your own affairs, then you put me <laughs> last. We, say, we put an order at home and say, <laughs> <"Every day." laughs> But if the present speaker at 80 first speaks, then the altar comes next. If anything comes up there, we, we put it first, then Jesus comes the last. I am at the level where you can dilute me and you put me somewhere else. I am not the Lord in your house. The Lord said, even the music sometimes your children put does not show I am the Lord. And I called my family and I told them, the Lord has told me he is not the Lord in this place. If he is not the Lord, then who is going to be our Lord? And then we had to go into repentance and praying and give the Lord back his seat in our house. So he, he is the Lord. Now, He's asking to Peter and the apostles who I am. Peter told him, You are the Christ, the Son of God. And he told him, Flesh and blood has not revealed that to you, but the Lord Himself. So it means the journey of Peter walking with the Lord wasn't usual, but he knew he was with Jesus the Son May the of Father God. May reveal his glory to us as we worship. You get to a level that when you close your eyes and you worship that like this, you don't see your neighbor, but you see the glory of the Lord. Revelation Almighty. is the power to worship a God. Time comes when you even say the king of kings. It's not only a word, but there is a deeper understanding when you say king of kings. You just get to know that he is the king of kings and the lord of lords. When you say healer, it's beyond your understanding. I just want us to go to a place of understanding who our God is. The glory of the Lord. Peter, Peter, his, the whole spirit reveals to him who Christ was. And he said, this is the son of God. Revelation takes you to another place of knowing how to worship the Lord. And I always say, as we have what we call breakthrough in prayer, there is breakthrough in worship. 
Era ntelo gama tinga ba tuino kubotola mukusaba na tetuino kubotola mukusenza. There are three phases of breakthrough. We have the courtyard and the holy and the holy of holies. You know that in the Bible. Waliwe mitendele satwe joko senza tuino lujia awatukuvu na watukuvu awatukuvu. And always when you are worshiping God, worshiping will never make sense until you enter into the holy of holies. Era buli jo bobo senza chakuli kola makulu pakango tu sewali awatukuvu awatukuvu. Funga nyoka rango kusenza ko kutoka mashoga mukama awatukuvu awatukuvu. The Lord so much wants that your worship gets before him in the holy of the holies. Because that's where you die and he's alive. That's where you decrease and he increases in you. That's when you begin to feel my worshiping is not just landing on an empty ground but it's just before the throne. And you don't want Worship can never make sense unless if you're ushered into the presence of the Lord. There is a thirst you feel that is not satisfied until when you enter into that deeper presence. Whenever you go into worship and endeavor to make sure that you break through and you reach at the holy of the holies. And you enter in place where you feel that God is the only God and the rest of the things are meaningless. Otherwise, as I'm done with the time of that word, I want you to make sure the only thing you give unto the Lord is called worship. That is the sacrifice that goes directly before the Lord when no one has called it. The worship of God is only for Him. No one else is worthy of His worship. What happens when we worship? What happens when we worship? When we worship, we declare and establish the glory and the power of the living God. The words we declare as we worship, we are planting them in that place where we are worshiping from. Do you know why the kings used to be called those ones of Homer? And they say the king of kings. They plant that in the whole of Buganda. The, the more they say Maguru Nyondo, they plant that in the entire Buganda. Now even us, they planted it. When worship in inner man, we say holy, 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 and we plant it on the holy land. That is why in heaven, they say only one word. Holy, holy. They only establish that before the king. They want it in there. As you worship in your house, you establish them. Today when you worship, Feel whatever you sing about him, you whatever you say about him, him. it gets established over your shoes, it gets over your nation, it gets over your home, it gets over your home, let someone say amen unto me. In heaven, in heaven, in heaven Mogulu, they only mention about him, his works. Those of the heaven don't know that he gave me a phone, so I worship him or what they only worship him. Oh, Let someone say, I've I don't want to learn to I'm going to worship the Lord. Woo! So worship, whenever we declare those words. We are establishing another arena. That is why worship changes the, the realm. You can go to a place that is closed, you go into a worship because and the as you're saying, changes. holy, holy, 
you are taking away the sin and you are establishing his holiness on the ground. Kubanga bogama nti mutukuvu mutukuvu oyele chili chona nonyo zovu tukuvao. Chovola banti mukusinza oba onu okuona eleri abagende okuno rwale ndo dene misi. That is why in worship there is also healing and even today there are those who are going to be healed. Every time you heal and you say healer You are planting that over your children and your family and, your, and yourself That's why battles are won When we, we worship Tell me a greatest fighter in the Bible Tell me a warrior in the Bible I'll tell you a great worshiper Because when you are saying He is a great Mighty warrior, great in Jehovah is your name. To one, two, three, go. Mighty warrior, great in battle, Jehovah is your name. Mighty warrior. Whenever you declare that you establish it like this. Never holy, 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 holy. Even if you don't have so many words and you only say holy, holy, holy. You are holy. You are holy. Can I hear the voice of the worshiper? Holy. Worthy. Worthy. Oh, you are, you are Yoga, 
I'm going to go cup of tea now. You are. Chirangi, you have a way of going away. You should show one at all.
Just lift your hands. Lift your hands in the voice. I want you to listen to this part of the chorus. What is a cartoon dukan? Let the rain of your glory cover us. Let the life of your river flow. Let the truth of your kingdom reign in splash. Let the rain of your glory fall. Let the weight of your glory cover us. Let the life of your river flow. Let the truth of your kingdom reign in us.
Hallelujah, Hosanna. 